guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is gonna be on this makeup right here. So if you wanna see how I got this look, then just keep watching. So I'm going to start by using this moisturizer on my face. This is the Naked Advanced Aloe Cream by Naked Cosmetics. And this is going to act as my primer as well. I'm not going to use another primer. So while that's setting into my face a little bit, I want it to be like tacky, but it still needs like a second to dry because it's just like downright wet right now. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes and I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Infallible Shadow in the shade Golden Emerald. And this is the only eyeshadow I'm going to be using on my eyes today. I want it to be like a fairly simple makeup look. So I'm just going to take this on my finger and I'm going to put it on my eyelid. Then I'm gonna take this brush, this is an Ulta crease brush. It doesn't have like a name on it, but I'm pretty sure it's a crease brush. And I'm gonna just tap it into the product and then I'm gonna blend just into my crease with this same color. And then I'm just gonna take my finger and make sure all of my edges are smooth. I'm cleaning up under my eye, just getting rid of any fallout. And now I'm gonna go in with the Blank Black Lash Primer and just coat my lashes in this. I am gonna be using some falsies. For my foundation, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 102. I stopped using this a while ago because it wasn't working out for me, but I'm gonna try it again and see if I can make it work. I'm always trying to get matte foundations to work and they just never do, but we're gonna do our best. And to blend that in, I'm gonna use a damp beauty sponge. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. I'm just gonna apply this everywhere that I normally apply concealer just to highlight my face. Now I'm going in with the e.l.f. translucent powder and I'm just gonna lightly set my under eye area. I don't want my under eyes to get super dry, but just so they don't crease. I'm not baking, I'm just super lightly setting. For contour, I'm gonna use the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder in the shade Cappuccino and I'm gonna use that on a Luxie 512 Small Contouring Brush. I'm just gonna put this right in the hollows of my cheeks. For bronzer, I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I know that I use these bronzers like constantly in my videos, the Physicians Formula ones, but they're just my favorite bronzer. For blush, I'm gonna use Milani's Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso, and I'm gonna take that on a Wet n Wild angled brush. This is like one of my favorite brushes. Wet n Wild makes some good brushes. For my highlight, I'm gonna use the NYX Liquid Illuminator in the shade Sunbeam, and I'm just gonna put this on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm gonna tap that in with my sponge. And then on top of that, I'm gonna use the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade 10, be my highlight. The liquid highlighter is just going to intensify this highlighter. And then I'm gonna also highlight my face on the tip of the nose, the cupid's bow above the brows and the bridge of the nose like I normally do, but I just didn't wanna put the liquid there. Moving back onto my eyes, I'm going to curl my lashes one more time. And then I'm gonna apply a coat of the Maybelline The Rocket Mascara. I'm gonna take this big fluffy brush and just blend out any edges that I may have created in my crease and around the outer V when I applied my concealer. For my lower lash line, I'm gonna take the ColourPop eye pencil in the shade Honey Dude, and I'm gonna line my waterline. And then with no additional product on this brush, I'm just gonna run it right under my lower lash line and that's just gonna darken it up a tiny bit but not too much i'm going to apply a coat of the rocket mascara to my lower lashes and then i'm gonna go in with the neutrogena nourishing eyeliner in the shade cosmic black and i'm going to tight line my eye and this is just gonna make my lashes look thicker and it's gonna make me blink a lot 
And I really like this eyeliner because it doesn't transfer down to your like waterline. I'm gonna pop on some falsies. These are the Salon Perfect 615s and I'll be right back. And the last thing that we have to do is apply some lipstick. I am going to be using a red lip. This is from ColourPop Cosmetics. And this is in the shade London Fog. Obviously, you don't have to wear red lipstick with these super dramatic green smoky eyes. But I wanted to stick with these shades of Christmas and kind of try and make it like pretty and classy. Because green and red do kind of clash together. So I'm just going to apply this to my lips now. that completes this video. I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Tomorrow is December 25th, so I want to make sure to wish you a Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, a Happy Holidays, whatever you do celebrate, I hope you have a good one. Uh, la, 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 la. I'm Alexis, and I'll see you next time.